Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And we just happen to be rambling about ta -da, Star Wars and it's on your screen as well. So everyone seems to be talking about this at the moment. Star Wars uh, story spinoffs are on hold indefinitely. Um, because of what happened uh, with Solo. Uh, so, yeah. This is uh, some big news. This could be either good or bad, depending upon how you look at this. But let's go ahead and take a look at this article. This is uh, from The Collider, and uh, I will put a link in the description if you want to take a look at it. Uh, on your own but uh, what they say here is that um, it may be a while before we see any movies like Solo A Star Wars Story or Rogue One uh, sources with knowledge of the situation um, explain that Lucasfilm has decided to put plans for these spin-off movies on hold uh, Instead, they're going to be focusing their attention on Star Wars Episode Nine and what the next trilogy of Star Wars films will be after that. Now, here's my question. After Episode Nine, why does there have to be a trilogy of films? Can you answer me that? Is it necessary to have... Just because, just because there is a 7 at 9, does that mean... Why do we have to have another trilogy? Is that important? I mean, why not just do a standalone Star Wars movie? Or, hey, why not take a lesson from the Marvel Cinematic Universe and start telling individual Star Wars stories of characters and then bring them together in an epic movie? Hey, I'm a genius. I should work for Lucasfilm. Um, I'd make a lot more money. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I mean, what we know so far is that the supposed next trilogy is going to be done by Ryan Johnson. And, look, nothing personal against Ryan Johnson or anything like that. Man. Maybe maybe he's a great guy or something uh, in real life. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know all of his movies what he did looper right i think i saw looper i i don't no no i didn't see looper that's right that's that movie about that weird twist in time thing isn't it um i saw the hishi uh video how it should have ended <laughs> that was entertaining <laughs> um all, all i gotta say uh, as far as Last Jedi was that it could have been a lot better. It could have been way better. Um, I I understand what Ryan Johnson was trying to do, trying to think positively about the movie. Okay, not negatively. I know there's a lot of haters out there. They're saying, "Oh, he just wanted to ruin the the movie and the franchise and all this other stuff." trying to look at it a positive aspect here I see what he, I see what he was trying to do he was trying to do something different he was trying to do something unexpected because everyone had all these anticipations of what was going to happen in episode 8 he was probably taking note of that saying no I am going to surprise all of you and well yeah he did he did surprise everyone and not in the greatest of ways now, some people liked it um, when I got out of the movie, I was kind of like, well, I think I liked it. I wasn't sure. <laughs> um, I had to analyze the movie a bit more from two different sides 
to really decide if I really liked the movie or not. And I had to sit there and ponder on it for a while. I mean, for a while, I wasn't sure if I was, if I liked the movie, if I gave it a fair chance. I couldn't tell. But after enough pondering uh, with the movie and stuff, I just, the movie just isn't good. Just all the way around. It has potential. I, 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 will, I will give it that. It has potential to be a great movie, and it just missed it on so many levels. And that's the sad part about it. Um, do I think Ryan Johnson should have a trilogy of his own? No, I don't think so. Um, considering how Last Jedi turned out, I do no, I don't think I don't think he should. I think it would be better if if I was in charge of Disney, all right, and I was reporting to shareholders, um, and I saw the outcries that were going on right now. Um one, I, I wouldn't sit there and just fire Ryan Johnson just because the people, you know, are saying so. Um, but what I would do and say, okay, hey, hey, look, Ryan, a lot of people are upset with what you did, okay? But how about instead of giving you a trilogy, how about we give you a standalone movie? After, after Episode Nine is done and the Skywalker Saga is done, how about we give you a separate story, you know, not a trilogy, okay, but just a separate story, Let's see how that turns out, and maybe that separate story, in combination with other separate stories that other directors do, can come together to build something, you know, to build something big. That would be my thought. But who knows? Who knows what they're gonna do? But as far as giving them, giving him a whole trilogy, when he really hasn't, in my opinion, proven himself to. Uh, to really deliver, I don't think that's a very wise move. I don't think that's a very wise financial move. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> and they want to focus their attention on Star Wars Episode Nine. Well, you know, isn't that what they would be doing right now anyway? Even if the, even if they had not canceled the work on the other Star Wars movies, wouldn't they already be focusing their attention on Episode Nine? That's what I thought. You know, it's not like they have all these people hired, and they're like, oh, well, you know what? We're going to take half of you, and we're going to start working on this next Star Wars story uh, movie. No, I mean, they would already be working on Episode Nine, right? Because that's the next Star Wars movie to come out, and then the next... Uh, a separate movie would be after that. So this thing about opting to focus their attention on Star Wars Episode Nine, well, they should already be focusing their attention on Star Wars Episode Nine. Am I missing something? <laughs> if I'm missing something, please tell me. <laughs> it seems to me that they should already be focusing their attention on it. So if they had to cancel all these... Uh, rumors in order to focus their attention. It doesn't sound like their attention was very focused on episode 9. Um, maybe uh, all of this boycotting and stuff has maybe gotten their attention that they need to refocus. I don't know how they're going to... I don't know how they're going to save episode 9, to be honest with you. All right. Um... So yeah, the Obi-Wan movie and the Boba Fett film, which were just rumors, they, they were not official um, by any capacity, at least from all the different news sources that I've looked at. Everything has been speculation. So those have been shot down. Um, just a shame. I think an Obi-Wan movie would have been good. I know people have been wanting it. Um, would it have been done right? Who knows? Who knows at this point? Um, maybe it's uh, maybe it's along the lines of uh, what uh, 
Malcolm in uh, <clears throat> Jurassic Park says it, it they should it's not a question of whether they should or whether they shouldn't <laughs> <clears throat> um, so all of this is a result of the disappointing launch of Solo which <clears throat> brought in only 84.4 million on opening weekend and has grossed only 192.8 million domestically and 339.5 million worldwide in four weeks, which is uh, nothing to scoff at. I mean, that's that's a good decent of money, but it's f way way lower than the performance of other Star Wars movies. Um, and just for comparison, Rogue One uh, opened at 155 million and had grossed 424 million domestic by week four. So to put it simply, the movie Solo, it did fine by blockbuster standards, but it wasn't the event that Lucasfilm was expecting out of a brand new Star Wars movie. Well, and quite frankly, Solo was not the epic event that fans were looking for either. I mean, Okay, I haven't seen it yet. I'm waiting for the dollar feeder, <laughs> which uh, won't take long. Um, they have the movie poster up already at the dollar theater, and they they showed a preview because we went and saw Ready Player One, which was awesome. I gotta say, um, so I I I, I can't judge the movie yet as far as you know was it epic or not but based on what people were saying it was just kind of like yeah it was good you know it wasn't you know mind-blowing or anything but it was good um it's probably it it'll probably be kind of like how because i saw black panther and it was good i i liked it i enjoyed it but it didn't blow me away i wasn't like oh wow that movie changed my life type of thing um, and I expect Solo will probably be the same way. You know, I'll watch it and I'll, I'm like, oh, this is good. This is fun. But it won't be anything like, oh, man, I got to get this movie when it comes out on Blu-ray or, you know, something. So I don't know. But when I do uh, see it, I will make a video and I will let you all know what I think. Um. I don't think I'm going to hate it. I'm sure there are parts I'm going to hate, but but I've been wanting to see it, but I just did not want to pay full price. I mean, sorry, Last Jedi just really burned me. It burned me to the point where I just don't want to pay full price on movies anymore. Um, and so they keep going on here in regards to, oh, well, the May release date have had... Could have had something to do with Solo's disappointing performance, blah, blah, blah. Well, we know that that's... Yeah, maybe it had a little bit of it to do it with it. But we know the the main reason why... There's a whole lot of reasons. That's part of it. The other part was that the whole film was... Majority of it was reshot. There, there's too much drama going on behind the scenes. The original directors were fired. Probably should not have happened. Um, maybe had let them finish the movie the way they were planning to move, do it and then not hire them to do another one. I don't know. But... And, and then there's just the whole fallout with... Um, and they were basically... You have the movie Solo and they put it into a coffin and one by one they kept nailing hammering nails into this coffin so it it's it's like oh phil lord one nail chris miller one another nail ooh fire fire bang 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 you know so now we're starting to hammer nails in there um oh last jedi hammer nail oh kathleen kennedy here's another nail um 
oh, now they're 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 saying that uh, the force is female. Here's another nail. Do you see what I'm saying? I'm, they're just hammering nails and and just sealing this coffin up. So the, the more that w I mean, it just got worse and worse and worse. Um, and so the reshoots and everything just you know it it didn't help. Um, and all the fallout from Last Jedi. Um, I and I've I've seen people say that they didn't want Solo to be, uh, you know, the the movie used to make a point to Disney, because people were just saying, not gonna go see this, not gonna go see this because of Last Jedi. Um, and you know it. If that's if that was the majority, and if that's the reason why the movie didn't do well, in combination with maybe some of the other things, well, then that message was sent, and they got it. So, this could be the good news that some of you have been looking for. That hey, Disney got the message. Um, now, what are they going to do with that message? Are they gonna Are they gonna do the right thing, and? start turning things around and making Star Wars the epic series that it should be? Or... Or are they just going to, like, well, if you're going to complain, then we're going to take your toys away. You know, so they're basically telling the fans, if you're going to complain and, and make noise, and we're just going to take your toys away. We're just going to take your extra movies away. We'll finish episode nine. Um, and then we'll come up with a new trilogy uh, and do our own thing. And if you uh, old fans don't like it, well, that's too bad. We'll, we'll have new fans. So, who knows? You know? So, either the good news is that they're, they're going to hear it, you know, hear us out. Um, or this is all bad news for those people who like any type of Star Wars to come out. Whether it's good or bad, some people just say, "Hey, I don't care, man. It's Star Wars." You know, and that's fine. But you know, I like me. I like quality Star Wars. I don't, you know, I don't want to just watch uh, any old Star Wars movie. I want something you know that's going to be good and epic. But um, so yeah, so maybe this is good. Maybe this is bad. You know, it is what it is. Um. And there's this whole thing about a uh, new series of th films written by Game of Thrones. The, these, I know this has been talk about this, but as far as I'm concerned, it's all speculation. It's all speculation. It's all rumored. Um, all of these uh, channels and videos that put out saying, uh, oh, new and exciting news. Uh guess what, blah, 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 you know what, take that stuff with a grain of salt. <laughs> I, I honestly, I, th how these channels manage to survive on releasing Star Wars news every single day, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how in the world they could possibly do it. I mean, is there that much drama coming out of Lucasfilm where you have news every single day? Really? <laughs> I don't know. That's why I don't talk about this a whole lot. Because you know what? There's other things I can talk about. Um, but anyway, uh, that's really all that I have to say about this. Um, I'm I'm bummed that we won't get to see an Obi-Wan movie. But um, if they were to do one, I would rather that they do it right. You know, it would have to have Ellen McGregor in it. I wouldn't accept it really any other way. Um, and it would have to be a good story. So if that means they have to step back and take a break from it for a while, then that's what they need to do. As far as Episode nine, uh, from what I understand, it's supposed to be a prequel. They're supposed to answer the questions that were set up in Episode seven by going doing flashbacks or something I don't know doesn't really sound like 
<laughs> doesn't sound like something I want to pay full price for. And I was already burned by episode 8, so... Yeah, I'm not going to boycott 9. I'll see it, but I'll that's another one I'll wait for the dollar theater, too. Uh, sorry. Sorry, Disney. You guys burned me. <laughs> you guys burned me with Last Jedi. I just... I'm not going to go see movies full price now. <laughs> but, I don't know. Alright, I'm done rambling about this, so... Um, let me know what you guys think in regards to this uh, this news about the uh, side these side stories being put on hold or being canceled or whatever the case is. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, if there's uh, anything out there that uh, you think is interesting that you'd like me to cover, let me know in the description. And I will, not description, the comment section be a little hard for you to let me know in the description uh, unless you had access to my account and then if you did that I would be extremely worried so yeah no leave it in the comment section <laughs> um, and uh, yeah let's just uh, let's get a conversation going back and forth I'm interested to hear what you guys have to have to say and what you think and uh, until then I will see you on the next rambling video oh oh yeah I have other videos. Check them out. They are up here and, and down there. Check out these other videos that I've got. Alright, we'll see you on the next one.